I wouldn't change anything about this. I don't see this as a disability. I see it as a gift. Do you want to know why? It gives me the greatest joy to know that I may not have arms and legs, but I can give teenagers who are committing, trying to commit suicide. I've seen it. Slashing their wrists, taking pills, ODing, everything, because the world is looking for hope. And I wouldn't change a thing because I can give them that. This is just the beginning. This is just, I'm only 23. I'm only 23. First thing, be thankful. Know where you are. Now when you establish where you are in life and who you are in life and you give yourself a little bit of credit, do you know how I gave myself credit when I was seven years old? Check this out. I just remembered this last week. Some people at school were teasing me for how I looked. I looked at myself in the mirror. I said, yep, yeah, I don't have arms and legs. They're right. But I said, look at my eyes. I told myself, look at your eyes. You've got beautiful eyes, young man. I said, you are hot. <laughs> I said, no one can take that away from you. Your eyes. If it's only your eyes that you can concentrate on, then concentrate on that. Do you get the message? If you find one positive thing about your life that no one can argue with, then hang on to that and go from there. Now, where are we going? Once you establish where you are and hang on to the positive things, the assets that you have, then expand on that. Stop thinking of what missed opportunities are out there. Because then you'll miss more. Where are you going? Vision. Vision. What is your vision? Everybody here today has come to the conference so that you might be better equipped to live your life to its fullest potential. In some way or another. Finances. Sure. Great. Wonderful. I have a business mind. I love trading options. You have no idea. It's one of my hobbies, but it's actually become a steady income for me. And I love it. And wherever your goal is, let it be. But let me tell you something scary about your fullest potential. The day you believe you reach your fullest potential is the day you haven't. Write that down. The day you believe you've reached your fullest potential is the day you have not. Because you still have today. You and I know that we can make choices to either better our life or put our life in a worse position. Where are you going? Is it big? Zig Ziglar says, Aim your goals and dreams to the heavens, so if they miss, they're still up there with the stars. I'm dreaming big. You have visions. You have goals. I tell you, I want to tell you something very exciting. I can tell you right now, I'm actually going on Oprah Winfrey's show. How awesome is that? She just doesn't know about it yet. Why not? The only limits I have in my life are the limits I put on me or on myself. I want to live a life with no limits. Visions beyond comprehension. Another vision I'll share with you. I'm going to be, I'm going to be starring in a big screen cinema movie. It's going to inspire millions around the globe. No, we haven't started. No, we don't have cameramen. No, we don't have a script. But it's coming. Not in my time, but it's coming. I want it now, but it's coming. You want the diamond now, but it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. If you keep on going forward. It's simple. Really simple, right? See this phone? If I want to get to the phone, the phone's not going to move. The diamond's not going to come to you. You're going to go to the diamond. I'm going to go to the phone. It's going to come as long as I keep on moving forward in baby steps. It's not like I'm going to you know, start meditating and going hum and start floating, right? <laughs> and then go across. No, I'm going to go one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. Vision. Reaching your fullest potential.
That's what I want. Isn't that what you want? Yes. Yes. But how lazy are we? How lazy are we? I'll tell you, I've got the biggest vision. I'm writing a book called No Arms, No Legs, No Worries. I love that title. But the thing is, the book's not going to be written until I write it. Does that make sense? I have to write it. But not yet. Put, write this down. Do not put off the things that you can do today. Stop procrastinating. But with that, we're all guilty of that. If you're not guilty of that, you're special. Because I believe I'm guilty of it, and a lot of people are. I'm a procrastinator. But if that's what you value so much, you will automatically have that motivation. Well, I had that motivation, Nick. Nick, you wanted to write your book at age 19. I can tell you, yes, I did. Four years have passed. I did four chapters. And I read it, I'm like, that's crap. We're going to start again. I've got nothing now. But you know what I realized? Imagine if my book was written when I was 19. How much have I changed in the last four years? How much more do I know? How many more experiences will I be able to share with the world when we sell millions of copies of No Arms, No Legs and No Worries? There's a perfect time for everything. Not now, but it's coming. perspective, vision, and choices.